Hey everyone, welcome to WCode. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up SSH key-based authentication with an Ubuntu server. And also note this tutorial is geared more towards Mac and Linux users. However, this will work for Windows, but it will require using a tool like PuTTY as opposed to some terminal commands. But before we begin, let's go over SSH keys versus passwords. So both SSH keys and passwords have their pros and cons, but the cons of passwords are more severe than those of SSH keys. For example, Passwords are susceptible to brute force attacks, are often repeated among different applications, and are not as long and complex as SSH keys. Some cons of SSH keys are that they don't have an expiration date and sit on disk. However, SSH keys can be password protected and also rotated. Furthermore, passwords are sent to the server while the private SSH key remains on the local computer. But enough of background info now, let's focus on generating SSH keys. So SSH keys use public key cryptography, also known as asymmetric cryptography, which uses two keys, a public and private key. The private key is kept secret on the local computer while the public key is out on the server. Therefore, to get SSH key authentication to work, we need to generate a public and private key pair. And we can do that with the SSH key gen command. So on your local computer, run SSH key gen and also use dash T ED 25519. So this SSH key gen tool is a tool for creating SSH keys. Dash T specifies the algorithm to generate the keys. And here we're using ED25519, which is a relatively new algorithm that's faster than existing digital signature algorithms, but it also doesn't sacrifice security. But so if we run this command, it'll show a default location and file name as to where to save the key. Of course, most of these keys are placed inside this .ssh folder, but name it whatever you want to call it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of naming it, I'm going to place it in this location, but I'm going to name mine Laptop Spec Table, which is the name of a website I have that I'm going to use this for. But so if we run this, then we enter, um, we're asked to enter a passphrase, which I re recommend you do. So it's better to passphrase your private key. But there we go. So after running that, we should have some keys in this directory. So if we go over there now and we list out, we can see the two keys right here. So we have Laptop Spec Table, and laptop spec table dot pub. The public key has the dot pub extension and the regular one without the pub extension is the private key. But so now we need to copy this public key to the server, so to our Ubuntu server. And we can copy the public key to a server using the ssh copy id command. So what it is is ssh copy id and this command will use the ssh protocol to connect to the remote server and upload the public key. So next we need to provide dash i, which is the, the path to the public key. So for me, I'm in that directory, so it's laptop spec table dot pub. And then next we need to specify the user and host. So the location of your server and just run this command. Of course, you'll be asked for a password. And after typing, after getting the password correct, now the key should be on our server. Specifically, this command logs into the server host, copies the keys to the server and adds them to a file called authorized keys. And over here is my server that I have running online. And we can see this key now by if we go into a user directory and then dot SSH, if we list out here, we have a file called authorized keys. And if we list it out, we can see our public key. This is the one that we copied over from our local computer. And specifically, this authorized keys files specifies the SSH keys that can be used for logging into the user account on the server. But so now what we need to do is edit our SSH configuration on the server. And specifically, we need to do it to allow public key authentication. And we can do this by opening the SSH configuration file located in dash etc dash SSH dash SSHD underscore config. And we want to edit this. And specifically what we want to do is we want to change, if we scroll down in here, we want to set public key authentication. So we want to uncomment that. And then in our authorized keys file, we want to uncomment this. And I'm also going to specify in here the direct, the absolute path to this location. I'm not sure if it doesn't work without it, but I just have always done that. And then just delete. I'm going to delete unauthorized keys too, because we don't even have that file. And then I'm also going to disable password authentication. So if we look at password authentication, I have that set to no so that we require public key. But so make sure you save this. And so after doing that, we simply need to restart our SSH service on the server, which we can do with service 
SSH restart. So it'll reload or restart with that new configuration. And now what we need to do back on our local computer is add the private key to our SSH agent. And we can do that using the SSH add command. So it's SSH add, and then we wanna add our private key, which for me is laptop spec table. Of course, we need to enter the protected passphrase. And now we can see that our identity has been added. So specifically, this SSH command adds private key identities to the authentication agent called SSH agent. And an SSH agent is a key manager for SSH that holds keys in memory for SSH. And now what we need to do actually is just test the, that we're working. So try and SSH into your remote server. And we shouldn't have to provide a password anymore because we've disabled password authentication and should be using our public private key now. So just try and SSH in. And if we run this, we could see I logged in successfully and didn't need to enter a password or anything. So just makes you feel better knowing you have a bit better security on your server. But so this is all it takes to get in this setup. If you like this video, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called Witceptor. Link for it is in the description. Just give me a good review on it, please. Um, but besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.